compared to this. It is really small. All right, guys, the day is finally here. I'm so excited this guy finally arrived. I had this Mavic Mini ordered like a week ago, and I was finally able to go and pick it up today. Let's open this guy up. I'm, I'm just so excited. We're just going to go for it. Got my knife out. Figure out where is a good spot to open. All right. Okay, first things first, we got a really nice travel case here. Smells kind of plasticky, but it, it's nice fabric. Trash on there. That's really nice. Let's see what else we've got. It's a big box. It's very lightweight. Can get it open. <laughs> ah, there we go. We'll open from the side. <laughs> And here we have the 360 propeller guards. Work you open. So these guys will attach on either side of your propellers and they clip on and will protect it either way, no matter how it might hit something. It's really good for flying indoors. What else do we have? We have some booklets, typical instructions, safety warnings, that sort of thing. I can make sure to read those later. In this little box we have, looks like a power adapter. Oh, yep, got a DJI branded USB plug. And here we have our batteries. Here we go. Get them out. Okay, this one comes with three battery packs. Okay, take a look at one of these. These are nice, uh, they have a nice little clip, clicks them in. These last for about 30 minutes of flight, which is awesome. Compared to this guy, this lasted about 20 minutes. And this had a huge battery. Get this guy open. All right, ta-da! Here we have the tiny drone itself. Compared to this, it is really small. It says, "Unfold the front arms first. Okay, and then." back arms. And there it is. <laughs> Again, comparing to this guy, that is a major difference. So, we've got a little guard on the camera. That is a three-way gimbal on the camera. In the back, we have a little battery door. Insert a battery. Make sure I'm doing it right. There we go. Clicks in. Clips that up. And that is really lightweight. It says right here this guy is 249 grams, which puts it one gram under the 250 gram minimum 
that means you have to register your drone. So this does not have to be registered with the FAA. And in most countries, it's the same. You don't have to register it anywhere. And I believe that means in Canada, you're actually allowed to fly without taking the test. As I understand it in Canada, you have to take a test to fly any drone. But of course, check all your local laws and regulations, etc. Now, of course, because you don't have to register it, it doesn't really mean a whole lot for the laws, because you still have to follow all the laws. You know, don't fly near airports without permission, don't fly over crowds, uh, all that sort of thing. But, so to set him aside, let's take a look at this guy. Here we have an external battery charger bank. And we can put the batteries in here. Here we can clip these batteries in. You can fit all three batteries in there, which means that you can carry three batteries plus an extra one in the drone. And this will charge them up, and you can also use this as an external battery to charge your phone, which I think is fantastic, because you need your phone for flying. Let's set that aside. Here is the controller. Now, seeing as I've only had this drone before, I've never used one of these controllers. So, let's take a look at this. Flip these antenna up. Open up the mobile device clamps here. They're actually pretty stiff. It's probably a good thing. Let's see how my phone fits in there. I was a little concerned that my phone, that which is a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I wasn't sure if it would fit in there. Let's see. Yeah, that seems to fit pretty well. So that's how that will look. And then your control sticks are stored in here and they just screw on. There we go. That's really handy too because you know they're not going to get broken while you're traveling. So once this is all closed up and you've got it stored. The great thing is you've got a little bit of extra room underneath here so you can put a couple extra cords or something. Speaking of which, there's supposed to be, yeah, here we go. Okay, here we have some extra propellers and screws. Because this guy, blades just spin on, like so. But the new drone, the Mini, they are actually attached with screws. So it includes extra propellers and screws in this box. We have our cables, Some more cables, a couple of extra joysticks in case you lose them or break them. And here we have more cables and we have a mini screwdriver so you can reattach your propellers or change propellers in the field. There we go. The neat little uh, Phillips head screwdriver, pretty standard. I'm sure you could also use one of those eyeglass repair kits. Okay, here we have regular standard USB to micro USB. Here we have another micro USB to standard USB. 
And here we've got three cables to attach to your phones. We have micro USB to, I think this is the Apple one, micro USB to micro USB, and micro USB to uh, USB type 3. Okay, so that's it. That's everything that comes in here. I'm really excited to go and try this. Unfortunately, tomorrow it's going to be really cold. So I'm going to just charge up the batteries and see if I can get any flight time in today. And if I do, I will include that at the end of this video. It's going to be very exciting, guys. <laughs> so if you like this unboxing, please like this video. Subscribe for more videos of the drones uh, and 3D animation and Japan. And I'll see you next time. Be sure to comment below. And in the description, I'm going to leave uh, links to where you can get one of these. Okay, guys, unfortunately, I've got some bad news. Turned out this particular Mavic Mini is a dud. It won't start up, won't fly. I can turn it on and get it powered up. I can update the firmware, but it gives all kinds of errors in the app. And I've gone through with customer support and uh, you know tried a few things, and all they said is that I have to exchange it. Unfortunately, Best Buy, where I got it from, won't have any until December 5th, which is like three weeks from now. And I can exchange it with DJI, but that might take even longer. So unfortunately, I won't have any flight footage for you just yet. But stay tuned, there will be more videos coming up.